All right, we're back here with Learning Guide 4, and we're just going to finish it up now. This is part two of it, and we're on topic four now, factoring perfect squares. Okay, so just remember what squares are. So squares are numbers that when you times it by the same number, like one times one is one, that's a square. Two times two is four, so four is a square. So I just sort of went through some squares there. And then also with variables, anything that has an even number power or exponent is a perfect square. Okay? So when you're dealing with these guys, and it says factor, always look for GCF, but 4 doesn't go into 9, so I can't pull anything out, so no GCF. Now, I always look at, hmm, is 4 and 9 on my perfect squares? And the answer is yes. And this is a 2, so that's fine. So now I know I have my setup. Because I know 2x times 2x gets me that guy, and 3 times 3 gets me that guy. Now I just have to figure the signs out. Well, this one's an easy one because they're both positives. They're both positives, and there's my answer. And if you rainbow back, you'll get back to the question. So I'm just going to go through a few of the difference of squares, because these are the most forgotten ones. Okay, difference of squares. So, let's say we have x squared minus 100. Well, this is a difference of squares, because that's a 2. And there's only one there, 1 times 1, and 10 times 10. So, because there's only two terms, this is always going to be plus and minus. Just remember that. Always plus and minus. And if you had x to the, say, 6, and let's put a number here, 9 minus, let's say, 25y to the 4th. Okay, the first thing you ask yourself, GCF, nope. Now there's a difference sign. Square is square. So voila, I have difference of squares. So I say 3 and 5, those are the square roots of those. This is x3, and this is y2. So those are the squares of it, and then now I can just go 3x cubed plus 5y squared, 3x cubed minus 5y squared, and there's the answer. Okay, so those are the ty types we're going to try. Okay, so you can pause and then you can check the answers. So here we have a perfect trinomial. So with a trinomial, I have to think of this guy as a square, because 8 times 8. Now there's 8, because it's a positive there, plus 8 equals 16, and there's 16 in the middle. Voila! So I know it's going to work. Okay? Now if there's a minus sign, let's just throw a minus sign in there. All right, they just both become minus signs. Okay, and just remember, like I said, you can write these guys as squares. So you can do it that way or that way, it doesn't really matter. Okay, now we're going to go on to topic five, and now we're going to look at 
uh, where you have to, uh, I call it factor completely, or there's a few steps involved. So remember GCF, 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 because uh, on this example, um, before you do anything, you're going to look for something common, and there's a two. All right, so you pull the two out. So when I pull the two out, I'm left with this. And then you can do your decomposition because of this five, or you can do your triple play. It's whatever method. I chose triple play, and I got my answer there. All right. So you can try these examples. So I made a, a little error here, so I'm going to make this a 10. All right. Okay, so again, you can pause, and then you can look at the answers. And there are the answers. And now the last topic, topic six, which is factor by grouping. Okay, this is when you have four terms. Okay, you got four terms involved. Now you gotta group them so that you get things that factor out to get common brackets, okay? So what I did here is I just basically grouped this and this. I wrote them in brackets. And then I took out the GCF right here to get that one. I took the GCF out of that guy, that guy to get that. And then I say, hooray, because look at this. This bracket and this bracket are identical. And then I just take these common bracket, put it there, and this leftover and this leftover form that one. Okay, all right, so let's try these ones. And there's the answer for that one. And there's the answer for the second one. Now you gotta watch out. Sometimes you get down to this stage, I'll just give an example, because you're probably gonna run up against it. You've done all your work and you got like say 3x plus, I don't know, four. And over here you have um, say x squared minus nine. All right. So when you get to this stage, don't say I'm complete, done, I'm gonna move on because you gotta take a quick check. Can this factor further? Nope. Can this factor further? Yes. This is difference of squares. 
So this would be written as x plus 3 and x minus 3. That would be your final answer. So just watch out. Be aware of that.